Did you know Monroe County law enforcement responded to 465 domestic violence calls last year? Currently, Tennessee has gone from seventh in the nation to fifth in the number of women murdered each year. Acts of domestic violence occur every 15 seconds in the United States. During this five minute presentation, 20 women have suffered at the hands of their abuser. Monroe County has never had a domestic violence shelter and Branches of Monroe County is committed to opening the first one. In anticipation of this, Branches has already opened and is operating an 11 bedroom transitional housing program which provides housing, training, and coaching for women and their children who are experiencing financial crises, situations like divorce, job loss, and or incarceration. This facility could provide the next step for women leaving a shelter environment when the threat of domestic violence has ended. Hi, my name is Rebecca Woods. I'm a lifetime resident of Monroe County. I serve on the Community Advisory Board, and for the past nine years, I have worked with families and children in abusive situations. Did you know statistics say one out of three families in the state of Tennessee will be affected by domestic violence at some time in their life. That 45 to 75 percent of children who are exposed to domestic violence will suffer some type of physical abuse. We must help. You may ask yourself, why don't they just leave? Domestic violence is about control. Women in our community feel they have no options or choices. They feel trapped. Currently, if a woman chose to leave this violent situation, they must travel out of our county to seek a safe haven, assuming there is space available and they can find transportation. Women and children need a sense of security. They find it difficult to leave everything they know, the children's schools, their homes, their communities, all their familiar surroundings. We need this shelter. Why do we need a shelter here in Monroe County? Children need stability for their overall development. Our children deserve to be safe. Women in Monroe County need a supportive environment. Monroe County already has a successful transitional program in place. You've probably heard the old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, that's true, and yesterday's village is today's community. Branches is partnering with schools to ensure children can remain in their own school. They will help women through the legal system to ensure their protection, and they are working on education materials because knowledge is the key to breaking this cycle. Branches of Monroe County is a great resource for our county. Just imagine what they can do with your help. Only one out of eight abused women ever report this crime. I am the one that reported. I lived 17 years in silence, and in the end, he shot me in the head three times. I survived, but many won't. I died four times, and when I woke up, I couldn't walk, talk, or feed myself. I spent 14 months in the hospital and 20 months in therapy. I believe I survived for a reason, and through the grace of God, I am here to educate you. On behalf of law enforcement, please join us in supporting Branch's efforts to establish the first domestic violence shelter in Hello, I'm Tim Yates, your county mayor, and I encourage and challenge every one of you to give from your heart to help branches of Monroe County open a domestic violence shelter in our community. And I'd like to make the first pledge of $100, and I challenge every one of you to give what you can to help these ladies get a fresh start in life.
If everyone listening will donate at least $10, that is the cost of one fast food meal today, we will be able to purchase a shelter facility in Monroe County. Branches of Monroe County is a 501c3 public charity and your donation is tax deductible. Please make a notation including your name, address, or email and we will be happy to send you a receipt. You may also make a contribution at our Women's Center or the Gallery on Main Street or our Warehouse Thrift Store in the old 411 Corp building on Warren Street. And for further convenience, all four locations at Citizens National Bank will be happy to receive your donations for branches as well. Please visit our website www.branchesofmonroe.org for resources and additional information. Thank you for your generous support. Together we can make this shelter a reality. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O oh shepherd so nothing shall i want i rest in the 